Welcome back! Care to take another pamphlet or two? Ah, the cold weather has made organising demonstrations a bit difficult, to say the least. But I refuse to relent in our mission. Rain or shine, sleet or snow, I will not rest until I stop these abominations from undoing God's almighty work. That's a leading question. Of course some people have life-threatening afflictions, and it's a good thing that science has evolved to treat all kinds of diseases. Simply wanting cat ears and furry tails does not constitute a disease. A disease of the mind, perhaps. If the government strictly limits genetic alteration surgeries to only life-threatening emergencies, well, that would be a start towards undoing the damage. We are not God. We were made in his image, and his image did not include fur. I feel it's rather simple. It's even in the name. Modifying genes means we are changing the very DNA that makes us unique. We're giving doctors, among other people with a severe lack of understanding of the human condition, the right to make us into entirely new species. We are the byproduct of tens of thousands of years of natural selection and evolution, and now these people want that progress to just be reduced to a formula? To be injected into your skin? At your convenience? And why? To fulfil some sick fantasy? We have VR dramas. Leave your imagination at home. Besides, why should we give these self-proclaimed animals the same rights as humans when they clearly don't want to be human? That is the greatest misconception of our group. They would have you believe that we'd rather go back to the Dark Ages. Oh sure, the human revolution wants people to go back to washing clothes by hand down by the river, right? We'll all go back to playing with sticks, yes? We do not advocate for a reversal of all technology. That would be ludicrous. We merely want severe limitations on genetic enhancements and a focus on medicinal practice beyond gene therapy. That would include an outlawing of cosmetic gene therapy, yes. People parading around in fur and scales as proud abominations. We need the government to protect these patients from themselves. Through some concerted efforts, we've created an alliance with a number of businesses banning service and employment of unhumans. Yeah, they call themselves hybrids, but we call them what they are. I can't respect those who willingly trade their humanity away. Thanks to our efforts, many local businesses are finally gaining the confidence to only serve human beings. If they wanted to feed animals, well, they'd open up a pound. Why, just the other day, a Neo-SF landlord thanked me for supporting his decision to deny tenancy to unhumans. He already feels better about his decision to seek out our help. Plus, can you imagine the cleaning fees? Great! Do tell me when you get the article out. I love to read the comments. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but doesn't most of the MeshNet speak critically of your organization? Oh, that's cute. The robot wants to join in the discussion now. Yes, this is true. Though historically, most revolutionaries are unpopular when they're in the middle of the fight. I sleep comfortably knowing that history will be on my side. Why, thank you. I appreciate bold integrity from good journalists like yourself. Oh, please do. Have a lovely day now. And remember, God designed you perfectly just the way you are. It has an extra...
extra cup holder. Too old now. <laughs> Did you manage to keep that plan I got you alive? Really? Nice job. I didn't expect it to last a month. It's great to see you though. Sort of surreal too. You're never around on social sites or anything, you know. I bet you didn't see any of the pictures I put up from my last climbing trip in Colorado. For a tech journalist, you do have pretty poor net presence. That's what I said. Figures. So, uh, what's with the bot? Yours? Really? Huh. I didn't think you liked to bring work home, as it were. Anyway, it's great to see you. What brings you to the Hassie Bar? Doing a review of that sweet weather rum outside or something? All right, now that's the kind of journalism I'm talking about. Indeed, we're looking into some accusations made against Charlie Nova. And we're actually trying to build up a solid case against him. No shit! I actually may have exactly what you need. Charlie comes here all the time. You, you know that show he's host of, Star in the Stratosphere? That show where normal people try to become actors and singers and all. Listen to this recording I made when he was here last month on his book tour. So many people come up to me thinking that if they can sing or act, I'll just make them a superstar. But that isn't how it works. Raw talent isn't enough to get you by in this industry. And anyone who thinks so is lying to themselves. It takes hard work and persistence. You gotta want it, and want it bad. But the kids I get on Star in the Stratosphere, which I host each and every week, as you all know, they're all so young and hungry. I love them. I do my damnedest to make sure they get what they want. They give me their best, so I'm gonna give them mine. It's not much, and it might help you build a case if you chop it up right. Just keep my name off it. I post hiking pictures, not scandals. Well, if nothing else, the threat of this dropping on the mess should get them talking. Here, I, I just made a copy for you. Anyway, I'd love to catch up soon. For now, I'll let you keep at it. You can usually find me here if you want to chat again. Say... Why did you tell Keith that I belong to you? to remember that I am not the same as any ordinary ROM that exists to be subservient. I don't like being forced to assert my independence as a unique individual, but I really thought you were above this. Anyway... This is pretty innocuous. We are going to need more evidence if we're to fabricate a believable story that will convince Mr. Nova it's in his best interest to help us. It isn't the luckiest jerk I've ever seen in my life. I had to schedule a specialist to come fix my ROM, and you better hope they can. Oh well, all's well that ends well. I underestimated how much people would appreciate an early Christmas. Anyway, what can I do for you? 
Sure. I still have a little bit before closing, and I can use some conversation to distract me from the anticipation of the VR drama I have waiting for me when I get off. What do you want to know? Charlie is a complete trip. <laughs> we met when he was just starting out doing adverts. He still drops in every once in a while to hang out. I love the guy. He's super funny, always has the best stories, and his hair is perfect. And he parties harder than anyone I know. A couple weeks ago, he invited me to this raid that's a hole that's probably already shut down. And he got so amped up on Crash that he jumped up on the table and hosted an impromptu dirty dancing contest. I swear, if he was in Charlie Nova, we would have gotten chucked out on our asses. But it was a lot of fun. If you want to meet him, just hang around here long enough. He loves mingling with his fans. Not that it helps his ego any. You don't have internal hookups, do you? The older sets are all helmets that use electromagnetic waves to stimulate the neural pathways in your brain to induce the desired sensory input. It's pretty crude, though. Which is why EM hats give you that dreamlike experience. It doesn't quite feel real. The direct link network has way higher fidelity. It's like actually being there. And since the direct link can interrupt your primary motor cortex, you don't have to take muscle relaxers to keep from flailing around. But some people are still scared off by it. Well, it's pretty invasive. They inject this smart polymer into the base of your skull, right at the brainstem, and it crawls along your primary neural pathways and bonds to your major sensory centers. It's been safe for almost a decade, but a lot of folks are still pretty skeeved out by the idea of having a bunch of conductive plastic coating in the inside of their brains. Plus, for the 24 hours or so that is hooking everything up and self-calibrating, you start to have intense hallucinations because of all the electrical crossfire. It's a trip, I'll tell you that. But no worse than the stuff people have been taking for a millennia, watching the world melt. Anyway, if you're looking to get installed, I have a guy who does great work. Just let me know. It's an ongoing drama called Magical Commander Yakino. Yakino at the Gates to the Deep. In it, you play the magical girl Yakino as she fights off elder gods as they arise from the ocean. It's a bit cliched and just about as silly as you would expect, but it includes some really interesting intersection between the Japanese magical girl trope and the American Cthulhu mythos. All with a pseudo-military theme. In the newest episode, Yakino has to face off against the Yit as they try to inhabit the bodies of people in the present to escape their destruction in the past. Eh, not really. Video games are about winning and manipulating the mechanics of the system to get ahead, right? Dramas are more about inhabiting the role of the character. There are rules but they're mostly about behaving consistently in a fictional world. It's a bit like being an improv theater, except if you get too far out of your character, the system boots you out and you have to start the episode over. Everyone experiences the drama a little differently, but it stays broadly consistent because you have to maintain the behavior of the character you're inhabiting. It requires you to really get inside the head of another person. I like it better than VR games, but that's just me. It's the best! Super awesome! If you need any other suggestions, just let me know! I've played through a little bit of everything. I'm sure I could find something you'd like. Maybe a detective drop. Anyway... Sure! Just let me know if you need anything. I'm always happy to help.
Hey, pal. Building up on Hassy? It, it already seems to be in a stormy mood. One simple failure will not dissuade our cause. The taste of success is a hassy. Grab lunch or dinner or chill sometime. You still have my number? Do you think Hassy Hot Cups are good? And which do you like better? Hot Hassy or How's it hanging? You look good! No, I mean good! Very good! Me? Hey, top form, what can I say? Hey pal! Building up on Hassy? We should grab lunch or dip.
Did you get that from the genus protest? I'm starting to feel a bit uneasy about this. Mr. Nova's clearly an upstanding individual, if just a bit boisterous. But I suppose if we're in for a penny, we're in for a pound. This should be more than enough anecdotal evidence to fabricate a less than flattering image of Mr. Nova that the public will eat right up. Let us present our story to him immediately. Hopefully our delay has not put him in physical danger. 